Major bills focusing on education and no knock warrants were the focus of a bill signing ceremony today in West Louisville. Hi everybody and thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Doug Prophet. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir also signing one that will keep tens of millions of dollars in West Louisville for investment and allow for local control of how that money is going to be spent. Chris Williams was there as the governor and leaders celebrated signing the West End Opportunity Bill. The African American Heritage Center was the setting for the bill signings. All should have impacts on the West End. None will have the financial implications of House Bill 321. It creates a TIF or taxable increment financing district made up of the nine West End neighborhoods. 80% of the tax dollars paid in that zone stay in the zone for reinvestment during a 30 year period. A locally controlled board will drive decision making. Senate President Robert Stivers spoke of the magnitude of the bill signed today and Representative Pamela Stevenson challenged everyone to get involved. I can't change the past, but I can hopefully change the trajectory of the future. And this is what this whole series of bills will do. Be the one that makes this work. We've given you everything you asked for. You wanted an organization that was going to build businesses in West Louisville. Check. You wanted an organization that was going to move people from being renters to homeowners. Check. You wanted to have a voice in what was done in your neighborhood. Check. A board that's 51% West Lavillians. Check. A governor that cares. Check. Uh, leaders that care. Check. Now the only thing missing is you. Another bill signed here was SB4, the partial ban on no-knock warrants. Brianna Taylor's family took part in the signing ceremony. You'll hear from them tonight at 6. In Louisville, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.